So you may have heard that from the 1st of June 2021, any photos that you upload to Google will count towards the 15 gigabytes worth of free storage that Google gives you with every account that you have with them. Now, if you've got a Google Photos account, then you will have a Google account. And it does mean to say that you do have 15 gigabytes or up to 15 gigabytes worth of free storage. Now the storage that you get was up until now really for the original quality photos and videos that you uploaded. It was also for Google Mail, so anything stored in Google Mail and also stuff that you might have saved in Google Drive or G Drive. But from the 1st of June 2021, any new photos or videos that you upload to Google Photos or back up to Google Photos will count towards this storage space as well. Now, don't worry about any photos and videos that you've uploaded before the 1st of June 2021, because at this stage, this isn't going to count towards that 15 gigabytes of free space that you get with each account. That at the moment is perfectly safe. And if you have got a lot of photos and videos to upload to Google, then do it. Do it before the 1st of June 2021 and you'll be able to still carry on storing that absolutely free. You won't pay a penny, a dime, a cent, a euro, whatever. You won't pay anything for that at this stage. Not to say that Google might change their policy in future, but at the moment, they're not going to charge you for any photos or videos that you upload before the 1st of June 2021. So unless they are in the original quality. So uh, what happens if you run out of free space, the 15 gigabytes of space? What happens if you go over that? Well, then you have to purchase more space if you want to continue using Google Photos or your Google Drive or G Drive, or if you run out of space for your emails. Basically, the 15 gigabytes is shared across Photos, Gmail and Google Drive. So basically, if you run out of that 15 gigabytes of space and you use Gmail as your email system, then your emails will stop coming in. You won't be able to send any more until you clear up a bit of space, i.e. either delete some emails or delete some photos that you've uploaded to Google Drive after the 15th, or sorry, after the 1st of June 2021. Don't go thinking to yourself, I'll delete a load of photos that I uploaded before the 1st of June 2021, because this will not free up any space. Anything you uploaded, like I say, before the 1st of June 2021, doesn't count towards that quota, 15 gigabytes quota. So how do you check how much storage space you've got and how much have you got left? All you need to do is open your browser and then delete out whatever's at the top of your browser. OK, and then we just type in one full stop Google full stop com forward slash storage. So that's one dot Google dot com forward slash storage. No spaces and all in lowercase. Then press enter or return or tap go. It will then show you, there you go. So for me, I've got 17 gigabytes worth of free storage. That's because I signed up for an offer there. And it's telling me here I've used 3.64 gigabytes of my 17 gigabytes of used storage. So as I can see here, in my Google Drive, I've used 3.45 gigabytes. In Gmail, I've used 0.18 gigabytes of Gmail and in Google Photos at the moment because everything I've uploaded was in their normal high quality and was before the 1st of June 2021. I'm not actually using any space for Google Photos. If you scroll down, it does give you, there you go, some details of how you can free up account storage. It also gives you details of membership plans to increase your storage should you need to increase them in the future. And I must admit, I mean, Google does give you 15 gigabytes worth of storage space free, which is, seems to be better than most other cloud storage systems. Like, for instance, Apple give you five gigabytes. Microsoft only give you five gigabytes. If you use Dropbox, they only give you two gigabytes. So really, 15 gigabytes is quite a fair chunk of free cloud space that they give you. And in the UK here, if you pay annually, say for the next 
tier up, which is 100 gigabytes, it's only going to cost you £15.99 a year, which isn't bad for 100 gigabytes worth of storage. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's worth doing if you run out of space. But, first of all, if you wanted to try and get some of your space back, then, like I say, scroll down to where it says get your space back and it says find out how to free up space in Google Drive, Gmail and Google Photos. So click on there, free up account storage. And here we go. So it says here, we've got no emails in the bin. We've got no spam emails, but in Google Drive, I can clear 2.4 gigabytes worth of space there. So files that you've moved to the bin but haven't permanently deleted these are. So I've also got 1.1 gigabytes worth of large files there that are also in Google Drive in there. So nothing else to clear on there. So as I say, I can click on that review and clear there and I can click on that review and clear there. Just make sure there's nothing I want to keep and then I can delete it. So uh, as easy as that. So let's just have a go. So I click review and clear just here. And here we go. It says there's 32 items in here and I think to be quite honest with you these are old backup files of text messages in there that um, they're all in deleted so okay so let's just go delete all let's just just click on delete oh I think uh, I should be okay to delete them I certainly certainly haven't missed them they're all been in the deleted so uh, okay just click delete all up here like I say you might want to make sure first before doing this, just in case you're deleting something. But these are all things on mine that are in the deleted files anyway. So, uh, okay, so let's go delete all. Okay, so it says here, delete 477 items. This action is permanent and cannot be undone. I understand once I delete the files, they cannot be recovered from the bin. So like I say, as long as you're sure you're okay to delete them, tick that little box there, then move your mouse over permanently delete. And like I say, think about it before you click on it, because as it says there, this action is permanent and cannot be undone. So if you've got stuff in there that you're sure you want to keep, which you probably haven't because it's the, the deleted box anyway, but um, you can't get them back. So, uh, okay, I'm fine with that. I'm quite happy that once I've deleted this, they're gone for good. There's no way I'm gonna get these back. So I'm gonna move my mouse over, permanently delete, left click once, okay, and there you go. It says you've cleared 2.4 gigabytes worth of space. At the moment, it hasn't updated on here. So uh, if I just click the back button just up here, okay, and this might take a bit of time before it updates. So uh, don't worry, it, uh, it, it will update itself. Let's just try refreshing the page by just clicking on the refresh button just up here and let's see what's happened. So no, it still hasn't changed, but it will change. It does take a little while with Google's accounts to sort of tally up with, with one another. So there you go. That's how to clear up a bit of space in your Google drive and uh, also uh, you can do this for gmail and google photos and just tells you a little bit about what google are doing and and the fact that you don't have to worry about clearing old photos out that have been uploaded before the 1st of june 2021 because all these photos that you've uploaded before that date won't count towards this 15 gigabytes of space. And like I say, if you have got a load of photos and videos that you want to upload to the cloud for free, do it now. Do it before the 1st of June 2021 and you won't have to have these allocated towards your 15 gigabytes worth of free storage. And hopefully you won't ever have to pay for these photos in the future. And just as I was about to end that video, as you can see, I've refreshed it and there you go. You can see now I've only used 1.28 gigabytes worth of space on there. So it took a few minutes, but uh, it has now tallied up the free space. OK, so once again, hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.